reporting for Katie Chat here at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto with J.A. Worthington, a.k.a. Jeremy A. Worthington, a.k.a. Bucky Worthington. How did you come up with all these different uh, names? Uh, well, I didn't. Uh, people gave them to me, and J.A. is just, um, just a short form of my extended full name. Mm -hmm. And uh, how did people come up with the nickname of Bucky? I guess they just think I'm silly and weird and funny sometimes, so cool. and kind of odd, so Bucky suits all that. Hey, you're the owner and founder of BFF Studios. What inspired you to start it? Well, I've always had a passion for film, so DFF Studios, Dream Factory Films, is basically just my my company name out there. Mm -hmm. okay. Tell me a little bit about your film, Megalomania. Well, Megalomania is a psychedelic uh, gothic horror film, which began as a short film idea many years ago, over five years ago, and uh, since then I expanded it into a feature-length movie, mm -hmm. and it's taken a long time to finish and complete because I've done it with no money, but uh, hopefully, uh, you know, eventually people might see it, and I won't just be making it for myself. What are and what's at the heart of the story for Megalomania? Um, it's a modern day, um, a modern day story based on the Adam and Eve uh, fable from the book of Genesis. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's pretty high concept and very artsy, and it's a little bit out there. So, yeah, that's why it's called Megalomania. Great. And tell me a little bit about your film sketch, Booty. What what is the title referring to? Uh, a sketch Boogie. Sketch Boogie is um, the legend of Sam Woogie, who was uh, just a crazy, um, a crazy gangster kind of drug dealer guy back in the 80s. And one day he, he goes to an amusement park and he gets killed on a roller coaster there. So the spirit of Sam Woogie comes back to the present to haunt um, the kids of the past. And uh, therefore, that's, that's the legend of Sketch Boogie. Great. And how did everything run on set? Uh, there was a lot of waiting around. Um, it took a very long time. We didn't really have enough time because, again, there's lack of money. So um, sometimes you only get a few hours to do so much. And um, yeah, I wish we had more time to do that, but it's still going to turn out. And uh, hopefully, people will actually see it. Great. And you're currently working on and finishing up Lovers and Strangers. What was the inspiration behind that project? Uh, Lovers and Strangers is another film which uh, began by a good friend of mine, Raheem Bangera. He um, developed most of that and I helped him write the screenplay. And that was another indie feature that we shot in Anguilla uh, roughly two years ago. And we're just uh, coming to completion of that one too. And uh, we have one more scene to shoot for that. So uh, yeah, hopefully it gets out there. Okay. You grew up in Waterdown, Ontario. What were some of your early influences that made you want to go into filmmaking? Um, films were always uh, celebrated in my family, especially by my mother. So I've, I was always surrounded by watching movies and just reading books on movies and encyclopedias on movies and stuff. So I've always just loved uh, cinema for the most part. And um, yeah, I've been, I've been making films digitally, like shooting and editing since I was like 15 years old. And even before that, I kind of dabbled with VCRs and, and Hi8 uh, video cameras. So I've been doing it for the longest time, so it's all I know, so it's all I can do. Great. And do you have a favorite all-time movie? Um, I've got about a hundred <laughs> favorite all-time movies. Um, I guess off the top of my head, favorite movie, um, I don't know, there's too many. I'll probably have to say Edward Scissorhands. Okay, cool. And where is the best place to find out more information on you and DFF and all of your projects online? Well, you can check the website at www.dreamfactorystudios.com and there's links there to the YouTube and the Facebook. Or you can just search my name on YouTube and a bunch of stuff will probably come up. And uh, yeah, just hit up the Facebook page. Awesome. Thank you so much. Congratulations on all of your success and best of luck with your future projects. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, my pleasure. I'm Katie Ellman reporting for Katie Chat here at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto.